hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the plate is deformed uniformly into the shape shown by the dashed lines if at a gamma x y is 0 0.075 while the normal strain along a b and the no average normal strain along a f is equal to zero this means that there is no change in the length of a b and a f so this this means that this a f and a f dash they are equal and similarly we will assume that b c is equal to b c dash so we can say that for this we can say that if average normal strain in a b is equal to average normal strain in a f is equal to zero we can say that the change in length of a b is equal to zero this means that a, this point b remains intact it doesn't move forward and we can say that um, a f a f is equal to a f dash and similarly we can also assume there is one another assumption which I am going to do is BC is equal to BC dash and further we can say that um, AF is equal to 600 so we can say that we can further write that AF, A, A, AF dash is equal to AF is equal to 600 mm this is 600 and similarly we can say that bc dash is equal to bc is equal to 300 mm so we are asked to find the average shear strain at point g with respect to the x dash y dash so now after the distortion after the sh shear stress at point a of 0 0.0075 radians the distorted uh, the distorted shape of uh, this body is given represented by these dash lines which is a f dash e dash d c dash and b which is the shape like this so we are asked to find the shear strain at point g with respect to the x dash and y dash axis so after the distortion we will we can draw these axis axis at g so this pink line this will be the new x dash and this will be the new y dash so we are asked to find this this will be gamma x dash y dash but this is not this angle plus this angle this will be equal to gamma x dash y dash so we are asked to find gamma x dash y dash and in order to find this the initial angle between the x dash before the distortion the angle between the x dash and y dash is 90 degree so somehow if we find this angle if somehow we find the angle between these uh, let's say that this is x double dash and y double dash if somehow we find the angle between x double dash and y double dash this angle let's say this angle is theta dash so then we will be able to find the gamma x dash y dash so how we can find the gamma x dash y dash we can say that gamma x dash y dash will be equal to the initial angle which is 90 degree between the x dash and y dash minus the final angle which we are saying that let's say that angle is equal to theta dash so theta dash so 90 degree minus theta dash will give us the gamma x dash y dash the shear stress at point g along the x dash and y dash so now the sole angle is to find theta dash now let's say that this angle is alpha and let's say this angle is beta so we can say that this angle is alpha and this angle is beta so we can say that alpha plus beta plus theta dash is equal to 180 degree and we can say that theta dash is equal to 180 degree minus alpha minus beta 
So now in order to find angle theta dash, we must find angle alpha and angle beta. Now angle alpha is the angle of GF dash and this horizontal line. So if I join, if, if we consider this A G F dash triangle, we can find this angle alpha. But before that, we must find this G F dash length, the distance between G and F dash point. So if we somehow find this G F dash, then we can uh, use the sine's law to find alpha because we know this angle, the initial angle is 90 degree. So 90 minus this gamma xy will be this angle. So we are given that gamma xy is equal to 0 0.0075 radians. And if we convert this into degrees, we know that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. So we can say that 0 0.0075 multiplied by 360 divided by 2 pi. So this gives us 0 0.430 degrees. So this small angle, this small angle gamma xy in degrees is 0 0.430 degrees. So this angle will be 90 minus this. So we can say that 90 minus answer is 89.570. So this angle after the distortion, the angle of AF dash with the horizontal is 89.570. So we can say that this angle is 89.570. And similarly here we can see that initially the BC is making 90 degree. And this will be that same angle gamma XY. So this angle will be 90 plus 0 0.430. So we can say that this angle is 90.430. So this angle is 90.430 and this angle is 89.570. So now using the law of cosines for a g f dash triangle, we will be able to find g f dash. So we can say that g f dash is equal to if we consider this triangle g a g f dash triangle so we can say that if, if we apply the law of cosines then that will be 300 square plus a f dash is 600 600 square and this angle so we can say that's 300 square plus 600 square minus 2 into 300 into 600 because of the inclusion angle between these two edges or sides so we can say that 89.570 and we will take the square roots this gives us 668.80 668.803 um, millimeter this is g f dash length so we can we can now once we find this we can apply sine's law to find this angle alpha for the same triangle a g f dash triangle so we can say that sine of alpha divided by the length of the opposite side which is a f dash which is 600 is equal to sine of 89.570 divided by the length of the opposite side which is g f dash so g f dash is this 668.803 so from this we can say that alpha will be equal to sine inverse of 600 sine of 89.570 divided by 668.8 63.779 so angle alpha is 63.779 degrees similarly considering this triangle g b c dash triangle 
again using the same method we, we must find g c dash by applying the law of cosines we know this g b which is 600 we know b c dash which is 300 and we know the included angle so now we will find g c dash so we can say that g c dash is equal to 600 square this 600 square and this 300 square so 600 square plus 300 square minus 2 into 600 into 300 cause of the included angle which is 90.430 so 90.430 under the square root so this is equal to 672 0.831 millimeter and this is g c dash so now once we find g c dash again considering g b c dash triangle applying the sine's law we will be able to find this angle beta so we can say that sine of beta divided by this length of the opposite side so this is angle beta so the opposite side is 300 sine of beta divided by 300 is equal to sine of 90.430 divided by sine of this angle divided by the length of the opposite side which is gc dash gc dash is 672.831 672.831 degrees and rearranging this equation we can say that beta is equal to sine inverse 300 sine of 90.430 divided by 672.831 so this angle beta is equal to 26.479 degrees now once we know alpha and beta we can find theta dash so theta dash is equal to 180 degrees minus alpha which is 63.779 degrees minus beta which is 26.479 degrees this is equal to this gives me 89.742 degrees this is theta dash and since as i have told you that a uh, gamma x dash y dash will now be equal to 90 degrees minus theta dash since the angle between x dash and y dash before the distortion is 90 degree and after the distortion the angle is theta dash so the difference between both the angles will give us the shear strain along the x dash and y dash axis so we can say that uh, gamma x dash y dash is equal to 90 degrees minus 89.742 this is theta dash so we can say that 90 minus this answer will give us 0 0.258 degrees this is equal to 0 0.258 degrees and now if you want to find the shear strain in radians we must convert this into radians so you will multiply it with 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees so this multiply by 2 pi divided by 360 so this gives me 0 0.0045 radians this is the shear strain along the x dash and y dash so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope all this discussion will help you in solving further more problems like this and let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler